Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. Today I'll be turning this RM doll from BTS into Thandril, the elven king of the woodland realm. I will be getting his name wrong, I'm sorry. So let's get started. I first begin with removing RM's hair and face. Don't come for me, ARMY. I am mostly doing this project because I love The Hobbit and Thandril is like so sassy in the movie and I just love it. I then change his finger positions so they look a little bit better and similar to these monster high boy hands. I do this first by softening the hands in boiled water and then hold the position while dunking the hands in cold. I do this a few times before I like the positions of the fingers. Next, I paint his hair area with a blonde color and reroute his head. Next, to give this elf king his shiny clothes, I'll be using these fabrics, this rust silk for the lining of his robe and an undershirt, this sparkly silver for his coat thing, and this black and silver for the outer layer of his robe. And I won't need to make any pants because this BTS doll came with a perfect pair. So like always, I make the patterns and I cut out all the pieces. And I'll be starting with sewing the undershirt together. I am adding this because I felt like it was needed and because I wanted to. I sew the front pieces to the back pieces at the shoulder. I then sew the collar pieces together along the outer seam. I then attach the collar to the shirt. I add the sleeves and close the side and the sleeves, along with hemming all the raw edges. Next is the long coat shirt thing. I don't know what it's called really. It's the same steps as the shirt, shoulder seams but there is an extra step of sewing the back pieces together along the center seam then adding the sleeves the collar and then closing the side and the sleeves Now the big overcoat robe thing. Again, the same steps, but bigger. Shoulder, sleeves, do the same for the lining. And then attach the lining to the outer layer. I've had to seam wrap this stupid thing five times now 
because it's not listening to how I want it to listen and I'm just trying to make it work and I just don't know how to make it work with the lining because I don't know how to do nothing. So I am going to pray that my next attempt does not involve me having to seam or anything because I don't want to do it anymore. So I didn't really, I didn't have to see for a bit. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you can tell I'm losing my mind with this stupid coat. Okay, but it will be so worth it in the end. Okay, so. What I did was, is that I sewed them together here first, and then I added the thing here, sewed it all the way around, and we're at this point. And in order to turn it, I left this part open, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to close that. And I'm at this stage! Yay! But this is how it's looking so far. It's looking good. Just gotta close this up and put the sleeves together in a way I don't know how to do, but I'll figure it out. Yay! For the boots, I'll use these Monster High shoes as the base to build the boots on. I cut out the shapes I need from this fake leather and then glue them to the base. I then add some more cutouts and other details like grommets so I can lace the boots tight. I then paint them gray and then redo them because I didn't like how the first pair turned out, but it's all the same process, trust me. Now he has a staff in the movie, so I'm gonna give him one. Don't worry, he'll get his sword, but you'll see that later. For his staff, I am using this chopstick and a clear stick thing. I cut a small piece of the clear stick and use paper tape to hold the two pieces together before adding epoxy clay for a stronger hold. I also add this silver ball to the top. Once the clay is dry, I give the staff a paint job with some browns and a little bit of red and some metallic brown as well. I then use more clay to add the branch vine details on the top and bottom of the staff. Once those are dry, I paint them silver and the staff is done. Time to give this king his crown. I cover the head with a clear wrap and then use the sticky side of tape to build the crown on. I just roll out the clay into thin worms and lay it out in a way that matches the pictures. Once dry, I paint the crown in browns and some gold. I then add these plant things from my last video, but paint them red. And I just glue them to the crown. Believe it or not, but this is my fifth try on his face. First I went with just like the plain face with no scar, but then I wanted to include it. It adds more to his character. 
I first start with drawing the base outline for his face. The scar, the eyebrows, the eyes. And then I add the scarring and the color. I'm only drawing this time because I wanted to show you you don't need to add clay or carve out the face to show scarring or damage like I've done in the past. I am aware it doesn't look like him from the movie, but I did my best. <laughs> Once the face is done, I add gloss to the eyes and lips, and a little bit on the scar. And here is the final doll, Thrandril, the elven king of the woodland realm. Everything turned out good. I mean, I'm happy with him, but I'm not fully. I feel like I could have done better, but it could also just be my perfectionism talking. I did ask a friend and they told me he looks amazing, but this one was just hard for me. I hope you all still like him and think he looks good. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process, check out my community page for polls on doll ideas and sneak peeks of upcoming videos and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.